<laughs> oh, what a noble figure Captain Manley makes. Aye, noble, but stupid. <laughs> Dragon One, St. George Nil. I think after all, we'd perhaps better let Godfrey's sister dip me a suit of armor. Why you didn't go over to the theatrical costume here as an Eastcote like the rest of us? Well, I didn't want to disappoint Godfrey's sister Dolly. She's worked on this night and day. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the Wilmington on Sea Ladies Netball Team present a keep fit display. Very nice, they are, Mr. Mayor. Well, if you like that sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, you look at those thighs. Come away from there, Fraser. <laughs> Mr. Manry, I feel a fool. Do stop <laughs> grumbling, Pike. Hey, Frank. We let you off doing this corner bug so you could be a herald, and you're still not satisfied. I don't like showing my legs. <laughs> yeah, so it's a pity we have to go on before the wardens. Well, I just won the toss. Nothing to be done about it. Doesn't matter. After we've done our St. George and the Dragon, anything he does will be an anticlimax. Right, now, when I tap you with my sword, you fall over. Is that clear? <laughs> I'd like to see Manor in space if we get out there. He'd be green with envy. I must say, Mr. Hodges, I think St. George and the Dragon is a simply spiffing idea. So original. Oh, hurry up, Mr. Edmund. Go get changed into your Herald's costume. Uncle Arthur, hmm? This trumpet makes a lovely pea shooter look. <laughs> <laughs> I better see if I can get onto the horse in this costume. Come on. <laughs> Hold the horse's head, Fraser. Hey, you'll never get on wearing that. It's, it's too long. Hmm? Just hold the horse's head. <laughs> <laughs> It's too long, Godfrey. Uh, I'm so sorry, sir. He was being sorry. What am I going to do? Well, put his skirts up. <laughs> <laughs> it's no good. Why don't you try side saddle, sir? <laughs> don't be absurd. Whoever heard of St. George riding side saddle? <laughs> uh, I think I can make some adjustments, sir. on the agenda is a display by the Eastgate Morris dancers. <laughs> That'll be all right, sir. When you get on the horse, you can drape it around you discreetly. Yes, well, I suppose it'll have to do. Thank you very much, Godfrey. Yeah. 
You only skate Morris dance as a rotten one for doing our Morris dance, Captain Mannering. St. George and the Dragon is much more spectacular. I bet the crowd's never seen anything like this before. <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> The Jones. Come and help me, Mount Wilson. Sir. Get out of the way, Paul. What are you doing? Sorry. Wilson, my helmet, please. Thank you. to the grand finale, which is a shared item performed by the wardens and the home guard. First, Captain Mannering's platoon will perform a uh, spectacular medieval extravaganza. Soppy-looking boy doing. He's just like me, Mr. Rogers. Yeah, Morris. What is it, Tracy? Manry's lot are doing St. George and the Dragon as well. You'll be a real laughing stock. <laughs> I'll kill him. Quick! Get out of there! <laughs> and you get in that dragon skin. Stop handling me. You know I don't like being handled. Shut up and get on with it! <laughs> Surprise, ladies and gentlemen. Captain Mannering is going to fight the dragon. What does that fool think he's up to? I've really no idea, sir. <laughs> as though Mr. Hodges is going to fight the dragon. <laughs> no, I tell a lie. The dragon is going to fight the dragon. History a new twist. <laughs> You 
Ich bin ein Schlafen. Hm? 